All right, well, I said that, but it turns out it was my cat forcing my door open instead. So I can still broadcast for a little bit. Maybe I should put my cat outside. She's got the outside door open. She can go somewhere if she wants. She just wants to come in here. Maybe she actually wants some cat food if I give it to her this time. My cat really does not know what she wants. So I'm open up this window. Maybe she wants to stick her head out the window. Yeah. Oh, say hello to everybody. Hello. I have very deep eyes. Hello. Maybe that's what she wants. All right, so let's try this again. I'm just going to go over all the new units, pending no more interruptions, which I'm sure will occur the moment I try doing this. All right, so to start with, we have a new capture set group, two of them actually, I believe. The Deserted Battlefield Collection as well as the Terrestrial Rift Collection. Shocking, I haven't really caught anything on that map yet. All right, and then new units. We're going to scroll all the way down, start with to the bottom. All right, so no new one-star units, two-star units. Look at these guys. A little Amanor. Very um, Mario Kart looking little critters here, huh? Uh, he's a tank. He's got a attack down sap. Both low chance, 60% chances. Um, water version is a low stun with a fairly high taunt. Wood version, double saps. This, the alt is a better chance. That's interesting. Uh, light version, fatigue, okay, light version is effectively completely useless. And the dark version, taunt, this 40% on a taunt is just really bad. Um, and an attack down 80%, that's not terrible, but it's not, obviously these are two star units. Um, jump up to level 60, this critter, not bad hit points, but the stats, you can tell they're two star critters, the stats are pretty hard. All right, so then we're going to go over to this guy, the Mildew. Take a look at him for his different colorings. He is a recovery unit, so he is actually a healer unit, so he looks like he's a miner, at M-I-N-E-R. Jump him up to 60. Um, recovery unit, hit points are really low, high recovery. For a recovery type unit, he's got a decent attack for a two-star base unit. Um, now he is being a recovery. Okay, the fact that he's got a three turn heal attack up is amazing for a two star unit for fire. That's amazing. The sap is not that bad. 100% um, shield break defense up. This is, I if you're a beginner type person, although this guy's way off on a hard continent to get to, this is a nice set of skills if you're going after somebody with a shield and you want to have healing and defense up. Purification with this taunt, that's out of these, that taunt is useless for this with a purification. Yeah, there's The cotton gives you the purification there already, and I think that's a better unit. It's a water cotton now, um, or wood cotton, one or the other. Um, dominance not bad and he's actually he actually is 10 percent healer of own hit points so it's not terrible hit point wise i guess you saw the other unit was 40,000 hit points this guy's only 26,000 so he'd be getting he'd be giving 2600 sans gems uh, but he does give dominance which lets you destroy the opponent's sp when you hit him uh a two turn shield with a 30 percent sp boost this is, he's the equivalent of a meowing for the dark. So he's a dark meowing, though a dark water meowing. 
Water Meowing's got the 30% SP boost and a shield for two turns. So interesting that there is now a dark based unit that does effectively the same thing as the Water Meowing. Uh, I like the base coloring better. All right, so this is also a new unit. Oh, actually, you go through it. So the Chiropotai actually sounds more like it's a new batling person. Critter thing. Just looking at the different forms here. The variant version, the coloring is not bad on the variant version. All right, so let's look at the skill set. So, okay, a decent attack down on a primary. Um, Forty percent. So this is ways that damage the enemy. I'm guessing this is going to be a group attack. All right. So not terrible. The primary is better. Recovery down. Effectively pretty useless. Unless unless you need recovery, and if you need recovery, you want one hundred percent recovery down. And this is not a one hundred percent recovery down. Uh, then pretty useless. Two turns sap again. Low chance to happen. Not very great. 60% defense break, not the greatest, and then team defense break, again, not the greatest there. Um, okay, this is amazing. Okay, the light version of this dude. He is a light predator with an 80% chance to shock, and it's an area of effect shock. He, right there, is worth me hatching every one of my light 1 to 3 eggs to see if I can get him. So I will probably hatch all my light 1 to 3 eggs to see if I can get this light unit. That's that's an incredible skill set for that. So I need to make a note. I'll just open up Notepad. I expect they'll debuff that guy, because that's just an incredible skill set to have. So this is a light-based... I'll look at this name in a second. And then the Dark Predator with a, the Dark Predator, not so much, but the light most certainly is amazing. Um, and it's a two scar unit, which is incredible. So, Chiro, whatever, I need to strike in this first name. Chiro, Chiro, Pati. Sounds like he just has to go to the bathroom. Amazing unit. Okay, so that guy, all sorts of the one to get for the light based version of that. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. We got this dude, the Zared. Um, very similar to some of the other turtle looking things we've seen before. He forms up into like more like a, an armored iguana type critter. Um, all right, so let's see. Sleep, fair chance, not the greatest, but with fatigue, it's useless. Petrification, fair chance, better chance on the sap. The wood, 50% stun, 80% defense break. That's actually really nice. Defense down sleep, pretty pathetic. The sap, um, basically I don't like any of those units. Let's see what he actually looks like at 60. Uh, he is an attacker. He does have a decent attack. Let me look at this other dude real quick at 60 because I forgot to do that. He is also an attacker. Um, obviously not five star unit, but just the skill set on that for the, the two star skill is pretty dang incredible. All right, so we're going to flip up to the new three stars, of which we've got the slimes. These are the huntable very the huntable critters right now. All right, so we're going to jump from 60. An attacker, really weak attacker for 60. What are his stats? Okay, that's why, because he's an elemental edge with an attack down. Water unit, defense break, elemental edge. Are they all elemental? They're all elemental edges for their ults. Interesting. Um, the light one's a 50% SP boost. Wow. I had not paid attention to that. That's pretty cool. And then 20% of own hit points. The dark one, not nearly as cool, but the light, that 50% SP boost is really cool. All right, so there's that. So that will be the four star light one version. We're going to go find us the Pegasus, which should be in here now. Yes. 
Ah, uh, they finally brought our winged pony. Look at this. That looks pretty cool. And then the elites variant. <laughs> the purple. This this really is the My Little. The fire version is the My Little Pony version, all grown up. Uh, he is an attacker. Um, nice attack stat, 3200 base. That's actually pretty dang cool. All right, let's look at the skills. Hit point siphon. Uh, attached to our own hit points portion about dealt. That's not bad. Hunter, water version. Defense break 80%. That's really nice. Two chance silence, not so much. Um, attack down with a chance to thirst, not the greatest. So would not do the wood. If I could. Right now, so far, the fire is the best. The water is, eh. I mean, it's water is only really going to be good against PvP. The wood. Um, a 60% chance for skill down is really bad for a four star unit to have, even for two turns, so it's not very good. 80% chance to shock, that's actually really nice with the adrenaline. Um, that's actually really nice. So he's doing, basically, he's doing the dark bats attack. Um, actually, that's a really nice skill set for the light one. And then. He is a 100% chance to restore 30% of own SP when attacking, increased critical hit damage for 30. That's actually pretty weak for a 4-star um, dark unit to have that set up. If that was a 50% morale boost, that would be far better. Alright, um, I believe that was covering... Uh, I've already talked about him. And now my other cast is really shoving himself inside this room. All right, so based on what I said, I really want to hatch one of those light-based chiropotis. So I amazingly enough have the possibility of doing that based on the fact that I've got 174 of these eggs and he's a three-star light. So I could get it. Um, I do need to make some space and shift some stuff around to get this off first. Because I don't want to do it one at a time. Maybe. Oh, I got an egg from that. That's neat. All right. So I still need to make some more space. So we're going to just going to sort by grade to start. I'm going to go to my bottom and just toss some of these lower value units out a little bit for the time being. We're going to toss him back across, him back across. I'm tossing units across that I just hardly ever use. Um, toss her back across. Do I have enough gems set up on her right now? Yes. Yeah, I'll use her very much. So she's going to get tossed back across. That gives me four. That'll give me effectively 20 spots. I should probably try to get at least one more spot open right now. Toss her back across. Okay, all right, let's do some hatching. I'm not going to do these one at a time because I, there's no real reason for me to do one at a time. I'm just going to skip. I got a light snail. I 
And I got a dark snail. And a dark one of those guys too. All right. Well, let me mix up some of these guys that I can. I got dark bats ready to go. Dark bats. I'll actually be able to get an Evo 3 out of those dark bats because I've got a bat right there waiting for that. down to the dark bat bats, which, oh my god, papaya. So I don't need to keep that. I just get rid of it. Robots can come on up. Stars shall attempt to align. And they will. And let me go collect astrogens first. Slimes, do some elevating, go back to the slime. I did get the dark bat, I wanted the light bats. This was the one that I said earlier was I did not think was so great, but it is a it is a hunter and does silence. The silence though is just not the greatest for what I would want to use it for. It is a strong dark predator though. Um, obviously I'm not going to get rid of him. Uh, got a wood. Could you would you do a wood? Yes I could. Yes I would. Set that up. Sort of Minotaur baby. I said the light one was useless, the dark one slightly less useless. Maybe. Do I have anything else combination wise I can do right now? I can do those two are the exact same gem set wise, which is pretty sad. This one actually has a decent gem set, so we'll swallow up one of the light ones. And we'll swallow up this guy. For the cactus dude. Uh, 
All right, again, I need to make some more storage space. So we're going to try shoving some more guys over into storage for the moment. We'll shove in the Cura. So I need to shove three over into storage. The Cura. Um, I was going to pop in there safely. Shove you in. I'm trying to make sure the people I shove in aren't people I have on my normal team sets. We'll shove these guys in because I cannot do what I wanted to do with them yet until I get some more midstones. All right, so now I can do another set of patching. Sana, incubators, patch. That right there is what I was wanting. The skill set on this light unit is just amazing. Oop, I meant to skip all. But I'll do that on this next one. Alright, so... Let's go back to the astrolabes. Looking for the better gem sets. Um, <coughs> he's a defender. That has a, he has a good resistance, which is nice. Uh, and then I have a light version of him too, I think. Yeah, I should have at least one. Well, that is the light version, actually. So we're going to say that that one is the better one to keep. So we'll put the other light one in him. I had two dark ones. That's the better dark version to keep. Maybe? Let's see what the other dark guy was. Yeah, for sure he's the better one to keep. Howdy. Morning from Florida. I'm able to broadcast for right now because my wife is sleeping. So I can broadcast for a little bit before I go run errands later. Uh, let's see here. All right, we're going to go get the ghost in just a moment. How are you doing, girly taker? Oh, oh, I went to the wrong spot. I need to go back to here. The ghost was the next one that I needed to do. Ghost, 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 ghost. There's the ghost. one that I could insert that ghost into, which was not that far down. Where are you? So I can insert you into that ghost. Uh, I'm just not seeing it. Try again. There it is. I'm doing pretty good. Let me, I hear I have something that was sent to me. Let's take a look. So 
So if I remember right, someone had some pancreatitis or something recently and was not feeling well, so I hope you're feeling better. All right, and then these go together. And this one go together. Uh, I've got a dark one of those guys that I can slot the other dark ones into. Like that. Challenges. Put those up. Evolution that one. Making my cacti. It's cool that I have people in Lithuania watching because I've got. It's nice to have people from all over the world checking me out. Uh, I guess I'll do the cactus. Toss that into this one. And let me look at these two light, they're like iguana like critters. Triangles, and okay, that's much better. We'll use that one. Two there. Alright, oh my gosh, papaya. If I give you food this time, are you going to eat it or just stare at it? Yeah. Literally put a giant amount of food in front of her last time. She would not touch it. Don't be so picky. All right, so let me continue flipping through these. I need to do some more hatching. I've got a robot I can make. Baby robots. All right, so I think that's all the combinations I can do right there for the moment. So we're gonna come back here, we're gonna challenges, we're gonna get the ward, we're gonna go back here, we're gonna do a summon. We're going to get up more of these eggs. All right, so I'm going to wrap the broadcast up by saying that today is definitely the day to hunt for the new units, the legendaries, the slime soldier slimes, slime soldiers, because they've got the legendary boost running all day today. It's one of the early days of the new hunt, and you get better bonuses for doing that, and even my categories for me because she's over here meowing. So good luck on the hunt today. See everybody maybe some other time, hopefully tomorrow.